Hi, I'm here with Zidart Singh, and we're at the Bernau Conference, or Contest in Mediation. And Zidart is all the way from India, isn't that right? Yep. Um, and <laughs> so you've been traveling a, a number of days. Yep, I have. Yeah. And um, what brings you all the way halfway around the world to come to this contest? Uh, when we heard about this competition, we were very excited because uh, we hadn't been to the States before. Uh -huh. And uh, we w were looking forward to this mediation competition. And when our uh, cell convener, the leader of our cell uh, back home, uh -huh. he told us about this competition, we were, uh, at, at the moment, we were ready to come. Wow, great. Yeah. And so, uh, what are you studying uh, in school in India? Yeah, uh, I'm from uh, National Law Institute University, Bhopal, and I'm studying a BALLB. It's a course called BALLB, which is a law course, uh -huh. basically. So, I'm going to be a lawyer in th three years. Wow. Yeah. And so, you're going to mediate and litigate all of these yeah. complex cases that are in India, which are probably one of the most complicated law systems in the entire world. It is, it is. We have the biggest constitution in the right. world. Right, I yes. believe. Yep. I believe it. And yep. so you have this tremendous problem with infrastructure and local control and, and all that. So uh, do you believe that superior mediation skills spread throughout your country will help your country? Oh, definitely. Uh, mediation is the way forward, I think, because uh, litigation, uh, you know, litigation is the final option, uh, according to me. This should be applied to each and every case as uh, people save time and money because of mediation. Uh -huh. So, basically, uh, litigation should be a last resort okay. rather than the first option for people. Excellent. Well, now let's uh, bring your... Right, so, now friend. we have another friend from India, and your name is... My name is Yash. Yash, okay. And you are also studying at the same school yeah, as Zidart. We, we, uh, we are together, we are the batchmates. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm also a third year law student mm -hmm. in National Law Institute, University Bhopal. Mm -hmm. So I asked your, your friend about the national impact of extend more mediation and he says it should be the first option rather than yeah. litigation. You agree or? Even I believe that because uh, see uh, mediation is not only about saving time and saving money mm -hmm. but rather in while doing the mediation things mm -hmm. the parties, the clients, they are the ones who can decide who have the power to go right. to the decision making rather than the judges. Right. See, according to me, what I believe is that the party who is aggrieved or the maybe the other party who has, who has been suffering the yeah. consequences of certain acts that have to taken place yes. should be the ones to decide what should be their remedy rather than a person who has been sitting right. along there doing a job that is his job. Excellent. Beautiful. So in other yeah. words, instead of imposing a solution, yeah. you, you should come create, to a solution. You should come to a solution. You I should see. create your own solutions. Excellent. And I presume you think that that applies in life. So later yeah. on down in your career and that, through that your does. other interpersonal relationships, the, the same axiom applies. Uh, yeah, actually, because, see, uh, according to me, mm -hmm. Clients will have a better idea because they are in the shoes they are in right now. And uh, okay. judges, they don't know about what they have been feeling for so mm -hmm. long, what have they have been through, mm -hmm. and everything that sort of. So even if they provide with a judgment, they don't know what value does it hold in the life of the other person. Mm -hmm. okay. So according to me, a person who has been in the situation, will know better, can come up with a better right. solution. Okay. That's what I, my, I, my beliefs are. Okay, and so uh, in your uh, career going forward, uh, that's the kind of thing that you're going to stick to. And so this has been a, a uh, process, again, that's going to yeah. be... Uh, help you for your whole life. Yeah. All right. Well, I great. That. Great, great. Well, it's been nice talking with you, and we'll say goodbye, goodbye. temporarily and get, and get another friend. <laughs> okay. We're still at the conference. I'm here with Snehil. I'm not sure I said it right, but yeah. maybe close. <laughs> and uh, you're also studying law, I take it? Yeah, I'm studying law at National Law Institute University in Bhopal. So... Um, I am free. Let me we talked about the national impact, the possible national impact of having more uh, mediation rather than litigation. So, 
since your friends have already talked about that kind of thing, what has it done for you, this process of learning this and going to this conference and everything, what has it done for you personally? In other words, um, some psychological dispositions that may have changed or developed or some intellectual uh, knowledge that you've gained. Okay, I, I surely got to learn a lot from this process, the entire mediation process, and I especially think that I can, we can, like as law students from India, we can help a lot to our country, we can, we can contribute a lot to our country because mediation as such is a very, a very efficient process to sort of resolve problems. In our countries, there are huge, huge crisis of property problems, property disputes, they go to court and it takes years and years to uh, get resolved. So I would want, I would want to contribute this to my country by bringing mediation, more and more mediation in that, in that, in that mm -hmm. country so that the problems get resolved as soon as they can. I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in terms of though a more personal thing, I know it's helping your country, but does it perhaps give you a more even keel emotionally when you get involved in talking with other people or in facing problems, something well, like that? Well, yeah, it does, it does, it does. Uh, knowing people's problems, especially as mediators, knowing the problems of both the parties and then getting to a resolution, that, that, is, it's, that, is, that in itself is a great feeling. Mm, and you get to I resolve see. problems. Ah, okay, so, so you, you receive something from knowing that you're helping other you're helping people, other people solve problems makes you feel good. It does. It does. Excellent. Yeah. I like it. Thank you. So, so you know, I mean, that, that's wonderful to be doing something that's good for other people and makes you feel good. Yeah, it does. Right. Yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, and I think that probably fits into... Um, a lot of uh, Indian uh, philosophy, which of course uh, influenced heavily by uh, Hinduism and uh, to some extent Buddhism, which got exported out. But the whole idea of interpersonal relationships being very, very important, family being very important. Very, very important. Right. Uh, let me ask you something while we're on the personal side, and you don't have to answer this, but a lot of uh, marriages are arranged in. In India. In India, right? Yeah, so, yeah. And I know that may be changing a little bit, but um, do you think some of your skills that you've learned here can help in something like that, which is a really important personal thing? Uh, I talk about liberation, like a people should get uh, to marry themselves. Well, uh, yeah, either, that, either that or maybe in just in... Uh, coping with or learning about how your family is going to arrange your marriage for you and understanding it and dealing with it or yeah, I don't think that's going to happen to me. My parents had a love marriage and, and that, that's, I think that should be mentioned that that's an inter-regional marriage. So my father is a Hindu, my mom is a Christian. Oh. So yeah, it's, it's very, very common and it was what? It was 25 years back now. Uh -huh. They have this, they have their 25th anniversary this November. Yeah, okay. So 20, 25 years back that happened and both my parents' family, my dad's family, my mm -hmm. mother's family, they're very chilled with it. They're very, they're very uh, cooperative. Mm -hmm. So that kind of things happened in India and now more so, like now it's happening more and more. Now you hardly see any arranged marriage. Now they have a thing, a concept called love come in marriage. So like ah. they, the bride and the groom, they... Or they meet each other personally, but yeah. they have to agree their families to uh, yes. get married. Yes, actually, we saw a really great, I, I love Indian films, and we okay. recently saw an Indian Bollywood. film which was exactly that whole problem where, where uh, okay. the, the male had to convince his elder brother that it was going to be okay. <laughs> okay, are you talking about uh, my my brother ki dulhan, uh, something like that? Uh, you might not know the name. I don't know the name of it, but yeah. anyway, yeah. yeah. Well, that was very cool. Okay, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Let's say goodbye to our audience. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you.